So before I start this video, I don't know if this redstone circuit has already been made, but it's not. I would like to name it, and I want to call it an 8-bit selector. So let's just get on to the video, I guess. So before we start, I want to show you each model of this circuit that I designed. So this is the first one that I designed. It's very, very large. It took up a lot of room. But then I made it more compact. So see all it does is just switch up to the next one depending on what position the thing is at so it's the same way with this one so it just like um, it just um, uses um, comparators which like if because comparators can like subtract or add up Something like that. I don't really fully understand them completely. But this is what the circuit looks like. And yeah, so I'm going to build it and show you how to do it. Okay, so to start off, you want to go two up with, I'm going to use wool. You can use any block that you would like. Oh, crap. So start off, you want to go 2 up, and then you want to go 9 down. So, 1. And then you want to fill it up. You want to put 8 redstone, or 8 redstone dust down, starting at uh, this block right here. Eight. Then you want to put down a comparator. And you put that comparator down in front of your redstone dust right there. And click it. So now you got that done, you would want to go over here to where your eight red zone dust are and you just want to put there. So now you want to put repeaters. So now after you got that done, you want to go here. Next. So that one goes there. You want to add a block right here, block right here, and block right there. And then you want to add block right there, block right there, and block right there. Then you just want to, oop, you just kind of want to repeat that. So now you just want to put your comparators one, one block ahead of each of these and make sure you click them to where they are on.
then grab your repeaters and then just put them in front of each of your comparators besides your first one your first one you want two repeaters right there and then grab your redstone dust and then start filling in these gaps right here okay so now you want repeaters there. You're just going to fill this whole side up with um, repeaters. And that's all of it on that part. So now all you got to do is just add your item frame and put them in it. So you're going to grab your item frame. Put it right here, and I like to use an arrow. So if you notice, every single time you switch it, the one before it goes off. And this could be really useful whenever you're wanting to like have redstone doors, but you don't want them all to open at once, or you don't want multiple buttons. You can just switch to which doors you want open, you know. Or you can use it for like a scoring system. It is a very, very useful thing, I think. And what's cool about it is that it always turns off the one behind it. So, notice that it skips to that one. Then it skips to that one. Skips to that one. Skips to that one. And it skips to that one. And then, it goes back. So, if you like this circuit, I would really like to see what you can make with it. I think it would be really cool to see like people actually using it. Thank you.